Hey YouTube, Shock Horror, Mad Marco does a review of a guitar that you can still buy in the shops. This is a brand spanking new Squire Jaguar, Jaguar, if you're going to say it in American. Um, yeah, so this is a 2019 built, crafted in Indonesia model. I've got it in because the guy, one of my guitar junkie pals, wants me to fit a Seymour Duncan hot reel in the bridge which I wasn't sure about to be honest I think if you're going to buy a Jaguar surely you want single coil pickups but um, I think apparently someone else told me to cut Cobain put, so maybe that maybe it's something to do with that don't know but um, so just a quick run through of it uh, I was a wee bit disappointed um, I was just I was just talking to him 10 minutes ago like in a message uh, saying you know oh, I love you I was like, but yeah he had to take it away and get it set up I said, surely if you're buying a new guitar, it should come set up. And he said he had something to have to do with cutting a bit off the the tremolo arm because it was hitting off the strings. And it's like, that doesn't bode very well, but it's playing pretty well just now. I mean, I could have set it up better. I mean, there's your, um, I'm not going to divulge which shop he took it to. But I'm better at setting up guitars. I'm probably, I, I didn't ask him how much it cost, but I'm more for a lot cheaper as well. Yep, so I'm playing through no pedals just now and my wee Laney VC15 and 3x12 crazy looking cabinet. Um, so this is a bridge pickup. Neck pickup. And the third switch is a phase, so that only works when they're both on. And what I've, I've always wondered, I'm sure everyone else has ever seen one of these and never played it, is what's it, these mad controls up here? What this does is, so they, 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 these three are just your normal controls. When they're down, they're off. So you can turn off the whole guitar, then it's neck pickup, bridge pickup, and then phase switch. So if you've got the first, either of the pickups off, nothing comes through and the phase switch doesn't do anything. Oh, it does seem to do something. Maybe it's more than a face switch. That's definitely doing something. Do something on the bridge pickup. Yeah, okay, so it's not a face switch. What it is, is a... Without actually having a look in it yet, um, it appears to be some sort of um, kind of like a tone switch but like a, a a bass sucking switch as opposed to being a, like the opposite of a tone control but it's on a switch i believe they call it a strangle switch it makes it more chimey sucks away some of the bass i wonder if it's a phase switch as well uh, is that possible Definitely does something. Um, so it's not. Um, I think in, I'm not exactly sure exactly what it is. I will have to have a look at it and see what see what's going on. Um, I've got the excuse because I'm taking it to bits. Uh, see more Duncan in it anyway. So I'll have a wee look. Uh, this bit here, um, you get two roller controls, and there's something not quite right with the the air thing in it. I don't know if I put on a distortion pedal. You notice that see the the the, the general normal buzzing you get from a 16 pound fuzz pedal. That should go away when you touch the 
the strings and it it seems to be there seems to be an earthing issue somewhere from when you touch the metal plate or either the volume controls that's not very good as I say when you touch that metal plate or that or that metal plate so there's something that should be connected to the bridge somehow Yeah, see, it doesn't go away when you touch the bridge, but it does when you do that. So there's, a, there's an earth wire missing somewhere from this. Right, and then move on to what this does. So this switch here, when it's down, is um, basically just you get your three switches, your volume and your tone. This completely bypasses all of this slot and puts on the neck pickup and you've got a volume and a tone for it so you can have the volume and the guitar down at nothing. This, this is now your volume control. And it's just the neck pickup. Well, I'm surprised with that slightly, slightly different sound. This is, uh, I think they called it a rhythm circuit, although I'm not sure which one was the rhythm and which one was the lead. Whether you, do you want the neck pick on? So you can obviously have that set with a bit less tone. And back to that. Well, would that be the rhythm one? Yeah. Very, or maybe it's got strange pops in it. Like a strange value in that capacity. what you do is you can set up this sound using the neck pickup whatever you want and then use these other ones to set up whatever your secondary sound would be the the tremolo I've, I've seen these before but never actually used one before it's a bit it's a, it feels a bit vague to me it's more like a Bigsby than a Strat Trem or a Floyd Rose. It's kind of making a noise as well. You hear the... You hear it squeaking through the pickups. about this guitar um i've been complaining, complaining quite a lot actually there also seems to be some sort of buzzing coming from below the bridge there's something rattling oh yeah is that is this meant to is this something to do with the the tremolo is it does the tremolo maybe rock kind of like a roller or something You know, that the bridge, yeah, the whole bridge moves when you do that. Yeah, that's yeah, strange. I think that's what it's meant to do. I think it's meant to rock when you. Maybe that's a tuning thing. Can hear it buzzing. Yeah, so kind of not really the review I was expecting to be doing of this. I was expecting it to be absolutely smashing because the first time I've, the first time I've really played a Jaguar, and it's got some, it's got something that I've not really, I've not come across before. Um, I do have a guitar called a Badger, which is this shape, but it doesn't have this tremolo. And it doesn't have these pickups and it doesn't have this bridge so it's kind of it's more just like a sort of a normal guitar or like a strat whereas this is a different thing it's kind of like when you play a like a duo sonic 
or a music master it's a different type of guitar that leo bender made and it's it's just it doesn't really take all the principles from like the strat and the tail like every other guitar since then has yeah so it makes some noise with it Part of the sound to do is to do with the fact that the there's this big open bit of strings here vibrating, which gives it a much more airy, light feel to it you know, when it's unplugged. But I love, the neck's a lovely, a lovely feel to it. It's got that great sort of orangey looking gloss thing going on about it. The fingerboard I don't think is rosewood. I don't know if you've really seen it here, but if it is rosewood, it's a very light, sort of sandy, powdery looking rosewood. I wonder if it's this is the Cites thing. Is this some other kind of wood to replace it? I don't know. Hohobo or something? I think Hohobo is actually something to put the hair conditioner into. Um, yeah, so... Set up just now. The, the lead the guitar lead tends to lead, uh, cover up the buttons on the foot switch. Easy. 
song, the gospel. Bend it, otherwise it pulls the strings off the saddles. So it may be a wee bit of work to be working in one of these. fantastic it's not like this is different from every other guitar I've had um really playing that sort of very 60s you hear that so I'm not just going to be changing the pickups since I'm going to be trying to find out what that that buzzing is um maybe it's just one of those things that the guitar you know, these guitars used to do in the 60s and they just replicated it in the modern ones. But, um, that is strange. Actually, quite a lot of times. I'm just going to completely sexist moment coming up. And you see, um, a lot of girls, you see girls playing these and they're giving it the... Ah! 
they, they, they play like that, not like me. So maybe for that sort of thing, it's fine. <laughs> You know, sort of finger picking, gentle, shitey stuff. You know, not giving it the the full on rock machine. That it... Maybe more for chords. But I still think you should be able to bend notes. That's just just fit out. I mean, it doesn't. Is this one of these ones that's got like a, a you know, like a radius fretwork? It doesn't look any different from normal. It doesn't feel different. It does seem to be. Every note just frets out when you go up two frets, though. So. Maybe we're just, maybe that this is me just coming to the realisation of why, like, Steve Vai and Ying Wee Malmsteen don't play jazz ma um, Jaguars. No, I think a jazz, it's a jazz master, pretty much the same guitar, apart from it's got P90s. Maybe, I always get two of them mixed up. <laughs> Funny sort of hollowness, the echoey, almost like a delay on type thing going on. I wonder if that's something to do with this bridge and the fact that this um or that this tailpiece with the trem maybe springs in the back. Oh, I don't know if it does have springs in the back. There's, there's no um there's no thing in the back, so the springs must be in below this metal plate, um, causing it to have a sort of. this guitar so it can be easily swapped back to putting this pickup back in again in case the guy um, the guy doesn't like it uh, I, I think it sounds different I wonder if it'll stick that'd be an interesting experiment so this is these um Jaguar pickups that have got like a metal if you get an angle you can see it there it kind of looks like a sort of a saw blade a metal saw blade around the pickup so it'd be interesting to see if this guitar still sounds like this with a normal hot rails in it, or I, I, might, I might put a like a, if I could find a push pull pot and a coil split on it. And I was suggesting, you know, I could maybe make these switches do something, but the guitar's bad. You don't want to do anything too extreme. So my job for I was going to do it tonight, but I've actually I've, I've, I bought a chocolate trifle because it was only fifty pence, and this thing is huge. So I'm going to sit and munch this tonight and see how. how how sick I feel. Look at the size of that thing. It's like, mmm. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to feel sick after about two spoonfuls, I know it. And I'm going to end up, it's going to end up being a total challenge to eat it. This is my, my super plan for losing weight. Just, I can't, I can't say no to a bargain. You know, 50 pence for all that. Oh. It's buzzing at the, the high E as well, up here. But there's definitely something funny ground with this bridge. So my job is to sort the earth wiring, um, whatever that is, I, I reckon there's a, there's a wire off. There should be a wire going from this to the output jack that's not there or it's off or something like that. Um, fit in the hot wheels pickup and try and work out why this is going brrr. I do know that it's quite common, you, you quite often see I think, I'm pretty sure it's these bridges, you see upgrades of these a lot kicking about. I think it's because of that bendy thing. You know, if you bend the string too far, it just pulls the string off the saddle. So I think you, you need a, a bridge with saddles that are a bit, they've got a deeper groove for the string to sit in on them. But that wouldn't stop it. That wouldn't be what's causing it to buzz like that. See, that's... Uh, It kind of sounds like it's going brrrr, brrrr, like a, it's almost like a tremolo. Yeah, so uh, this will be another time travel episode, I think I've already done one today, so I'll probably, maybe not even tomorrow, um, well I'll probably have the guitar done by then, see if I can sort it out, maybe put them both out at the same time. It'll be a shorter video than this one, though. Um, do 
To be honest, if I'd bought this new, I would have taken it back and been sent back. Also, the guy said he, he took it to a sh another shop. Um, I imagine he probably bought it online. Um, and he, he took it to a shop to get it set up. And it's like, they didn't... I mean, it's one of those things that... Like, did Jaguars just do this? Do they just have that buzz thing? Is that, is that why it sounds so good when I've got it with the fuzz pedal playing the sort of 60s psychedelic? Or sort of 1968 psychedelic music? Is that part of what gives it its sound? I don't think it, it doesn't mm -hmm. come through on the amp. So if you're playing through an amp or playing a gig, it wouldn't would make any difference. It's only when you're... Or maybe it is. love with the look then I would maybe consider buying a badger but if you love the sound which I kind of think I do I think I might need to get one at some point assuming I can make this one I, I can make so that I could love with the bridge buzzing like that um another fucking nearly half hour video I'm just in a talkative mood today rock on